the seven angels who are worse than demons. All demons are former angels. However, they rebelled against God and were expelled from paradise. Thus, they are frequently referred to as fallen angels. Lucifer is the most well-known of them all. His name refers to Venus and meaning morning star. According to Christian doctrine, Lucifer was a divine angel. But after that, he started to feel angry and greedy. Lucifer was the first fallen angel. As the monarch of the realm of hell, he evolved into the dev. L. Sin was introduced to earth by Lucifer. An old Hebrew scripture gives a description of these demons. The Book of Enoch is what it is called. The Book of the Watchers chapter is the most well known. The Watchers are described by Enoch as fallen angels. They came to earth to keep an eye on people. However, once they sinned, God chastised them. Here are some more spooky figures. 7. Semyaza The Watchers were led by Semyaza. He instructed his fellow angels to entice mortal women. A race of lusty hybrids was created as a result of this mating. They were referred to as Nephilim. 6. Asbiel Asbiel is the angel of ruin. The meaning of his name is deserter from God. When he abandoned his role as a lookout, he misled mankind. Angels fell in love with women because to Asbiel. 5. Tamiel Tamiel, also known as Kosteha, was an astronomy instructor. He imparted knowledge to people concerning spirits and demons. Tamiel taught people how to take life of unborn children. 4. Azazel One of the rebelling angel's commanders was Azazel. He taught ladies the art of description while teaching males the technique of fighting. Azazel revealed the witchcraft trade secrets as well. Raphael was told by God to tie Azazel to sharp rocks. Azazel abides in eternal darkness until the day of judgment. 3. Penamu Penamu is the one who cures foolishness in the Book of Enoch. He gave us the ability to write. However, mankind were not yet ready to put all this information to use. Writing caused immense strife and devastation. 2. Abaddon Because of his destructive nature, Abaddon was expelled from heaven. He is referred to as the Abyssal Archangel. In certain apocryphal writings, Abaddon is prominent. He will transport the souls to the Valley of Yosafat following the Last Judgment. He so serves as God's right-hand man until the end of the world. Abaddon is referred to in the Book of Job as a hellish abyss. A swarm of locusts is under Abaddon's control. The last several days will bring the enormous swarm. Non-believers will be stung and bit by Abaddon's locusts. The locusts have crowned human features and resemble horses. They are equipped with wings, scorpion tails, iron breastplates, women's hair, and lion's fangs. 1. Nephilim The Genesis text makes reference to the Nephilim. They were the descendants of sons of God and daughters of men. The Nephilim, according to Enoch, stood 4,500 feet tall. They ate all that was available to them from people. And when men could no longer sustain them, the gates turned against them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds, and beasts, and reptiles, and fish, and to devour one another's flesh, and drink the blood. God was enraged by this and created the Great Flood as a response. This was humanity's first downfall, 